Hello, guys. This is uh, Math for Grade Eight from Edirija School, and we are here on on uh, Module Two about real numbers. Good morning, everyone. Okay, uh, lesson two point one: terminating and repeating decimals. Uh, we reached it here yesterday. Uh, it's very important to differ between uh, numbers set of a set. It contains one, two, three, four, and so on. And second set is the whole number set denoted by W. It contains zero, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Integers number. Integers contains positive and negative and denoted by Z. Okay. Uh, it contains zero, positive one, and negative one, uh, positive two, and negative two, and repeating decimals. Okay. Terminating decimals uh, just as 2.3. Okay, uh, the decimal not repeating. Okay, uh, for example, here in the first one, it's 2.3, and this was 3. For the repeating decimals, as for 3, and 3 is recurring. Okay, that means 3, 3, 3, and so on. Not end. Repeating, okay, means not end. Uh, for the second one, uh, 0 0.6 and the 6 is repeated. It, uh, it means 0 0.666 till infinity. For the third one, we have it here, 1.35. Only the 5 is repeated. So uh, you can write it as 1.35555 and so on. Just the 5, repeat only 5. Uh, last one, it's the rational numbers set. Uh, numbers mean uh, fraction, decimals, and the natural. <coughs> <coughs> the natural uh, rational number contains all the previous numbers. For example, as rational number, we have three over seven. We have uh, negative seven over eight. Uh, three over seven is a rational number because three is an integer number. Seven is an integer number. Okay, if I tell you five over zero, five over zero, it's not rational because the is zero. Uh, negative 11 over five is rational also. If I tell you to put zero here, okay, it's okay. It's okay, zero of five. Both down, we don't have zeros, okay? Just above. And the value will be zero. But if I told you, if I tell you it's four over zero, this is not a rational number. Negative 11 over zero, it's not rational number. The condition for the rational number is both numerator and denominator must be integer number. And the denominator mustn't be zero. Okay, so I put in any other number here, for example, 23, and so on. Okay, next one. This is for practice. By the way, if you open on the ideology website, if you open your uh, PowerPoint slide, you will find the practice here. You will find something about your homework. Okay, you have to do your homework and submit it to me. Okay, uh, I think we have. We have three. The, the last the last three slides, number 18, 19, and 20, okay? What about this one? It's a problem. Okay, let's start again. Practice. 
listen, this is a big, uh, a very important module for the relation between set, sets of numbers. As you see here, the natural numbers uh, in the in the green one, the small one. Natural numbers contains numbers like four, nine, and ten. Okay, if you add zero, okay, so you reach it the whole numbers set. So the whole numbers set contains numbers like zero, four, nine, and ten. Okay, natural numbers. That's small. Four, uh, one, two, three. Four, and so on, okay? Whole numbers, it's bigger. And integers contains all the numbers sure can hear Arabic you. fonts. Like, you don't want something okay. bigger. Mr. Sir, be careful because your, your, like, uh, your voice cracks and it goes away and it comes back, so... Uh -huh. because Whichever. the Wi-Fi some, sometimes it uh, goes down and up. Sorry, I is slow, okay? Okay. Is it clear now? Okay. Yeah, yeah it's clear. Uh, for the rational numbers, okay. Okay. Rational numbers set contains all naturals, all whole numbers, all integers, and adding it to them, uh, fraction and decimals. For example, half, half. It's a rational number. Half, not whole number. Half, not integer. Half, not natural. For example, a decimal like 0 0.45, it's a rational number. 0 0.45, not integer, not whole, not natural. And also, it's the same for uh, another numbers, like negative 3 over 4, 18%, uh, you know, 18% it's uh, 18 over 100. And also 0 0.4, where the 4 is recurring. It's repeated, 0 0.444 to infinity. So, in words, A rational number is a number, the ratio of two integers in which the denominator isn't zero. Once again, in symbols, the number A over B, where A and B are integers, okay, and the B doesn't equal zero. This is the definition of regime. Uh, rational, whole, integers, and natural numbers. Uh, here, it's a practice. Uh, write each decimal from the list below in the correct box. Uh, repeating the decimals, okay, in uh, blue color. Okay, repeating the decimals must be and terminating, uh, terminating the decimal. 84, 0 0.84, this number. Where should I put it? Put it here as terminating here or uh, in the second box. Or, sorry, just a minute. Just a minute. It's okay. PowerPoint problem. One minute. <coughs>
We are back, so sorry. Okay, I could hear you now. Okay, it's okay. Just a minute, share, and terminating. Okay. Uh, here I asked you, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six numbers, okay? Yes. And each one of them is a terminating a decimal. I'll put it here in the first box. Or repeated, uh, repeating a decimal in blue, I'll put it in the second box. Uh, it's here a decision now. The first one, okay. 0 0.84. It's in the first Where box. should I put it? First or second box? First. The first one. You're great. Okay. What about the second one? Take care. It's in the... Wait. I think it's in the second. The points here... The... Yeah, okay. Because the points here means... Repeating, okay? Repeating, Instead of the yes. points, you're going to make uh, another series, yes. That's, uh, all, that's also number in the second three. box. That's also in the second box. And yes, repeating. Repeating, repeating not terminated. Yes. Uh, this one, 42. It goes on, yeah. This one is also in the turn. Repeating, repeating. Yes. Second. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, 0 0.50. Mm. It's in the second one. First or second? Second. This one. Second, mister. Mm-hmm. Second no, this one, one, the first. Yes, repeated. Repeating, repeated, anything. And this one is just 0 0.7, nothing more. Okay, it's easy. Okay, yeah. uh, right. I think we, we solved this yesterday, maybe. Is it new for you? No, I didn't think we solved it. Okay, can you solve it now? Please write it, uh, read it first. Okay. <clears throat> write, uh, write negative 2 over 9 as a decimal. Then determine whether the decimal is a determinating decimal. Okay. Part A. Okay, wait. Okay, waiting for you. Mister, it's going to be not terminating. It's going to be um, negative 0 0.2, but it's infinity. Uh, it was ABC. It's C. C. Which one C. of them? C. Yes, bravo. Inshallah. Okay, it's very good. Uh, part B, uh, determine whether the decimal is a terminating decimal. Is it terminating? No, Mister, it's not. No, okay. Thank you. Excellent, Rida. Uh, right, mixed numbers. Please read. Uh, write one 
uh, write negative one, two over three as a decimal. Then determine whether the decimal is a terminating decimal. Okay, we need to then solve this too. You're solving now, right? Yes, mister, just one minute. Okay, take your time. I don't know, mister. Not sure. Hello? Yes, sir, I can hear you. Yes, sorry, you have a decision? No. What? No, how come? Yesterday I told you about. Okay, no problem. Uh, yesterday I told you about one over three and two over three. One over three, okay, it means 0 0.333 to the infinity. Two over three is 0 0.666 till infinity also, okay? One over three and two over three. Listen, what we have here, we have the answer. Okay, our number, our number is negative one and two thirds. So it's negative one and six 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 till infinity. Okay, so it's negative one point two six, and the six is repeated. Six is repeated. Yeah. So I have to put a dash above it. Uh, he asked it. Uh, he asked it part one, right? Negative one and two over three as a decimal. I did it. Okay. Uh, part two about B. Determine whether the decimal is terminating decimal. Uh, the repeating digit 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 is here. It's terminating yes. And the repeating digit is just the six. Okay, here okay. I am. I am going to repeat only six. Okay, new one, please read. <clears throat> which say, which decimal is equivalent to four thirteen, thirteen over twenty five? Yes. Four and thirteen over twenty five. Unit time. Is it? Um, I think it's wait. I have twenty five down. Wait, Mr. Wait. If you have, okay, okay. I love 25, 5, 2, 4. I think it's going to be infinity. Sorry? I think it's going to be the infinity. 
like four point five two, and it goes on. No, listen, Farid, I'll tell you a good way. Uh, multiply up and down by four. Thirteen multiply four. It will. What's a thirteen multiply four? Do it by yourself. Seventeen times four. Finish, Frida. It's forty-two. Uh, fifty-two. Oh, fifty-two. 52. Okay. 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 Uh, now, 25 also. 25 also times 4. 25 also times 4. Uh, yes, 25. $25 multiply by 4. That's 100. Yeah. Good, 100. So it is 4. And uh, 